Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swiddly Poopers. The new look Swindon Town Swiddly Poopers. Look, we got Besson, Bessany. You guys decide. His first name is F. Um, we got uh, C Stuff, uh, Massim and Alayla, uh, D Ward, G Roberts. I, I, next video, we are going to have names for all of these people. So this is your last opportunity to come up with names for all of the, the players. There's, got, there's some reserve players who won't have been named yet. So there's still a little bit of hope. By the way, we're playing Burnmouth. AFC Burnmouth, um, more like uh, AFC got burned by Swindon Townmouth. I'm still working on my, 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 my trash talking. I'm just going to show you the team real quick before I tell you what we're talking about today. B spoiler alert, it's Brazil. So, um, all right, these are the people who need names. Foderingham, Ward, Bessany, Basson, um, Bassoon, nobody knows yet. Sea Stuff, Masson, Malela, uh, Roberts, mm, nope, not going to try it. Bostock, Williamson, uh, they're named. These guys have names. Okay, then we've got A. Flint, McElvey, Miller, Coke, uh, Matt Ritchie. Again, we have to rename him. That's his real name, though. Uh, Bedwell, I mean, he kind of names himself. That's just his reputation. Um, and Andy Rooney, who Meredith doesn't know who that is, so we need to come up with a different name for him, I guess. All right. Um, yes. <laughs> Bedwell is the, is the worst player on our team, but also the only one with, with a built-in nickname. Um, he's going to bed you well. All right. Today we're going to talk about Brazilian Nerdfighteria. This was requested by uh, Project for Awesome contributor Erica Jurdy. Jurdy? Jurdy? Um, bear in mind that mispronunci mispronouncing things is my thing. In fact, I just pr mispronounced the word mispronouncing that's how much it's my thing so what what why would you why would you pass in that direction when i clearly that was obviously not what anyone would have wanted um so the brazilian the brazilian nerdfighter group is pretty amazing i, I think i first became aware that there were nerdfighters in brazil in like 2009 or maybe it was 2008 when they contributed to um, some of the videos, some of the collab videos for some of the birthday collaboration videos. Um, and they, they were really, they, they added really great stuff. Um, and I know that, I know that like there were a lot of trees planted in Brazil when we did that for Hank's birthday one year. Um, and, oh, why would you dribble out of bounds? It should be obvious that that's again, that's not what I want you to do. Um, oh, look, look, Paul John Green, he's just a little, he's a little torturer. Um, and they've always, yeah, for some reason, and I, I don't really know why. I mean, I think that, uh, I think YouTube grew early in Brazil. That's part of it. But for some reason, the Brazilian Nerdfighter group, almost from the beginning, has been really, really, uh, like, strong and tight-knit. But this has become much more the case in the last couple of years, where um, they've really become, there are lots of, like, groups within groups in Nerdfighteria that I think m make it, a, a stronger community. Like, for instance, one of those groups within groups is the, the group of uh, Swindon Town Swoodly Pooper supporters. Most nerd fighters are not Swoodly Pooper. That was clearly a foul. He literally, literally went over my back, uh, knocked me down, rammed me from behind, and then uh, proceeded with the ball. Context is everything. But, I mean, even if context weren't everything, it's definitely not okay. All right. Anyway, now I'm frustrated. Didn't the, did the ball just magically move, or was that just me? Anyone want to back up the tape there and, and confirm or deny that the ball just magically moved? Because that, that did not happen in FIFA 11. We had no, we had some occasional, you know, teleportations and stuff, but no magical ball movements. But maybe there's something wrong with my eyes. Maybe I have some terrible eye disease. Meredith, did the ball move? Now I have a terrible eye disease. Great. I'm a hypochondriac, for those of you who don't know. All right, so... Um, but, the, yeah, the Brazilian Nerdfighter group has always been one of those really special uh, groups within Nerdfighteria that just uh, is really tight-knit and, and does a lot of amazing stuff. Um, they do a lot of decreasing world, stu world suck stuff, but they're also just, uh, like, really good friends to each other. That was a terrible shot. Um, and and it's, really, uh, it's, it's really inspirational to me um, to watch from afar as they... Um, you know, as they get closer and closer. I have never been to Brazil, uh, much to their consternation. However, my wife has. Uh, she spent um, more than, uh, like, two weeks in Brazil um, uh, at a place called Inochim, uh, which I'm probably mispronouncing, uh, outside of Belo Horizonte, uh, which is this weird um, and very beautiful sculpture park built by a, a wealthy telecom person. Um, and it's, But it's one of the most important uh, art 
public art spaces, or I guess it's not public because you have to pay to get in, but it's one of the most important um, sort of like open art spaces in the world uh, for contemporary artists. It was offside. You're offside! Ha ha! Great offside trap, boys. Even if it was accidental, it's still excellent. Um, and she lo she really, really loved it, and, and we, would, we would like to go back. Um, I would particularly like to go back for the World Cup, but... Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna gonna be able to because of babies and stuff. But uh, yeah, she really loves it there, um, and uh, and I you know I, I would love to go see Inhochim for one thing. Um, everything else aside, just because it's a very very special place and there's nothing really like it in the world. Um, if you live in Brazil, by the way, you should totally go to see that. I I don't think it's that expensive to get in, although maybe it is. I really don't know. Um, it is in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's like 45 minutes outside of Belo Horizonte, which is which is a big city, but like it, you know, it's like in a distant sort of s suburb, I guess. Um, okay, it's halftime. It's nil nil. It has not been a great performance. Uh, you can see that look of frank disappointment, borderline disgust on Massimo and uh, yeah, it's just difficult. It's been difficult. We had that shot, which was not good. Um, we've had a couple of crosses into the box, none of which were particularly spectacular. And um, now we're going to go into ultra-attacking mode and try to, uh, to get a goal and, and save this game. I feel like Leroy Williamson is not being used to his best advantage in his current position, but I don't really know where to put him. Maybe I should put him where Bostock is, because Bostock gets a lot of touches. Um, and I feel like Leroy Williamson, is a, I, I, he's a good player. He's always been, and he's, he has the heart of a swoodly pooper. And that, that to me, that's, that's more important than skill. So the other thing about the Brazilian nerdfighter community is that they have been uncommonly generous to me personally, which makes them my favorite of all the nationals <laughs> uh, nerdfighter groups. That was a joke. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, no. I mean, obviously, that is not what I wanted. Oh, we just gave up our first goal. And I mean, it is entirely, entirely my fault. Let's just observe how much this was my fault. Yes, that, that would be. I'm going to go ahead and say that that was 100% my fault. I apologize to my friends, my family, all the supporters of the Swoodly Poopers. That should never have happened. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm personally and professionally devastated. And it almost got worse. It's a terrible moment. So anyway, the Br Br Brazilian nerd fighters. How did you miss that, dude? I mean, what is your issue? The Brazilian nerd fighters have been uncommonly nice to me. Um, for instance, I am staring right now while playing at a uh, framed, signed Brazilian jersey, soccer jersey um, that says "To J Green DFTBA Pele," like the actual Pele, you know, Pele. Signed a jersey, DFTBA, for me. I mean, the president said, almost, don't forget to be awesome, but Pele wrote it, wrote it down with his beautiful, perfect hands um, that he never had to use because he was too good of a player to cheat. That's right, I'm looking at you, Maradona. All right, that was just, that was a little bit of something for the Brazilian nerdfighters. They always like it when you make fun of Argentinian, Argentine soccer players. What is my problem? Why can't I? All I do is all I do is like dribble in front of uh, in front of their goal and let bad things happen to me, and then unnecessarily slide tackle in anger. Come on, guys, you're better than this. You are better than this. There you go. There you go. Oh, really? Really? I mean, Leroy Williamson, seeing Leroy Williamson and, and, and other John Green communicate like that just horrifies me. It tells me that we have not yet cemented our identity as a club. Um, and I don't want to blame you guys for that, but you are, in fact, to blame. You, I don't want to say that you're to blame for this loss, but if we lose, you kind of are, because we need together to work together to find an identity for the club. So the last thing I want to talk about, well, that's not the end of the game, is it? Is it just taking an exceptionally long time to make a substitution? Right, okay. The last thing I want to talk about is uh, the, the other thing that I got when I went to uh, the Brazilian nerd fighter representative at LeakyCon, um, which was this book, this copy of the Brazilian uh, version of Looking for Alaska. Oh, I'm sorry that you're hurt. I hope you're okay. Oh, his ankle looked terrible. 
This has been a very strange game. I just saw a dislocated ankle, which looked awful. I'm very concerned. How are you walking on that? Oh, you should really be stretchered off for your own sake. Um, no. Swoodly Poopers giving the ball away? That doesn't seem like us. We don't show class that way. Yes, we do. All right. So um, they gave me a copy of the Brazilian edition of Looking for Alaska um, that had been read by dozens and dozens and dozens of people in the Brazilian nerdfighter community. And it was really, really special to be able to look through that and, um, you know, just think about the way that the book had shaped uh, lives in a, in a place that I never imagined it would be read. Um, and yeah, that was that's a really it's a really special thing. It has a place of um, great value to me in, in, in our house and uh, I like to show it to people when I'm explaining like what Nerdfighteria is and stuff but um, it's really yeah so that's a really special thing but putting that aside they are also responsible for the fact that Looking for Alaska is published in uh, uh, Portuguese at all because they made that happen they like lobbied uh, publishing companies in Brazil um, uh, to publish Looking for Alaska and then um, basically sort of single-handedly made it successful. And then uh, The Fault in Our Stars has done very well there uh, with, with a lot of support from Brazilian nerdfighters and also like, with a publisher who really understands the power of the nerdfighter community in Brazil and has like, worked to help the nerdfighter community become like, tighter-knit and more productive and stuff, which is, which is uh, that's, that's the best thing when that can happen. Um, you know, that's the thing that means the most to me when... Um, like, you know, real, real, real relationships that are really productive in people's lives um, can emerge from Nerdfighteria. That's what means the most to me, and that's happened a lot in Brazil. So I'm very grateful for that. I am very ungrateful for the pr performance of the Swoodly Poopers today. A lot of this is down to me. There's no question about it. But I think the main thing that we're lacking right now is a sense of team unity. Um, that's because we sort of literally don't know who we are yet. Uh, but we're going to figure that out together, and we are going to look back at this loss against Burnmouth, Burnmouth, Bournemouth, um, as the day that things turned around. But it is disappointing. We are smelling our pits in shame. Although that no longer seems to be a thing. Best wishes.